Hello. In this video, we'll review the necessary setting to make a connection between S7 1200 CPUs and factory I.O. Then we'll see how an HMI can be used beside PLC. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Now, let's see how to link the PLC with HMI. We have seen, how a Siemens S7 1200 CPU connect to a computer with a LAN cable. Similarly, we can connect this HMI to computer. Also with a LAN cable, the PLC and HMI can connect together. The base point in a network, is IP addresses, which must be different for each device. In this tutorial, you can use one LAN cable to transfer programs and make connections. But you will need to plug and unplug the LAN cable from your devices simultaneously. Another way is using industrial Ethernet switches, or a simple modem, which can be found easily. So, you can connect all devices to the modem. The main point is, their IP address must be different. Alright, first we have to configure our PLC in TIA software. Then, to make a connection between our PLC and factory I.O., in the protection settings, we need to have full access and permit access with put get communications from remote partners. Also, let me change the start address of my PLC input addresses from 0 to 10. So, I able to use I0.0 to I0.9 input addresses in the factory I.O. The main point is a physical input address from PLC, cannot be used in factory I.O., but we don't have this limitation for PLC outputs. Also, I'll need to know the PLC IP address. Now, let me use SR instruction, to turn on off an output, with two digital inputs.
Also, in the factory I.O., there is a conveyor, which can be turned on with the PLC output, and also two push buttons, which can be connected to my PLC inputs. To make a connection between factory I.O. and my S7-1200 PLC, let's go to the file menu, Drivers. First, I have to select S7 Siemens 1200-1500. In the configuration, I have selected the corrected PLC type, and entered my PLC IP address. Also, I have selected my network adapter. Here, I have connected two push buttons to two new PLC input address, I0.0, .0 and I0.1, and the conveyor is connected to previous PLC output. Now, I'm going to use these two push buttons to turn on off the output. Pay attention, because the stop push button in factory I.O. is normally close, I have to use normally close contact. Until now, I can turn on off the PLC output from factory I.O. and real inputs. Now, let me show you, how I connect my PLC to the HMI, and use that to turn on off the PLC output. First, I have to add my HMI to TIA software. So, I click on add new device. Here, I find my HMI model. This window can help us to define initial settings. Now, I click on cancel. As you see, my HMI has appeared on the left side. Alright, to make connection between the PLC and inserted HMI, I click on Devices and Network. Now, I can connect the HMI to my PLC manually. Let's see the HMI IP address. The main point is the IP address of the HMI and my PLC be different. Now let's go to the screen, to design a simple HMI screen. First, I use a simple circle to show the PLC output states, like the previous video. Also, let me insert motor text.
Alright, how we can turn on off the output from the HMI? Pay attention, HMI can't change the PLC inputs, but it can modify PLC memory. So, I can use two contacts with a bit of memory address, which can be changed by the HMI. Well, based on this program, I will able to turn on off the PLC output, from HMI, factory I.O., and PLC inputs. Now, let me complete the HMI screen, I'm going to use two buttons, and connect them to two last inserted contact. Here, I can use set and reset function to change PLC bit memory. I will explain buttons in next videos. Now, you can complete the HMI screen like me. Alright, now let's test the project. First, I transfer the PLC program. Well, Tia needs to compile my program. Now, let me click on load to transfer the program to my PLC. Here, pay attention to PLC LEDs when the program is transferring, or when the CPU is in stop or run mode. Now, I'm going to load the HMI program. Let me click on search. Tia software has found my HMI. If I click here, the detected HMI start flashing. Now, let's transfer the design screen to my HMI. First, Tia needs to compile the design screen. Now, let me click on load, to transfer the design screen to my HMI. Also, Let's connect factory I.O. to my PLC.
Now, let's test the project. This plant in factory I.O. is connected to my PLC, and also the HMI. Based on my program, the start push button can turn on the output. As you see, the conveyor, and the first LED are turned on, and the related green circle, changes its color to red. Also, I can stop the conveyor, with the stop push button. Similarly, I can turn on off the output, with real switches. Also, I can use HMI to turn on off the output. Also, I can activate program monitoring to see what happens in the PLC program. I hope you have understood how a PLC can be connected to an HMI or factory I.O. In the next video, we'll start learning basic objects that can be used in HMI designing. After that, we'll do a simple project. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.